वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज पंकज सिंह आस्क आई टी एंस फैकल्टी वर्किंग विद आस्क आई टी एंड सिंस लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ चैप्टर केमिस्ट्री इन एवरी डे लाइफ विच इज वेरी सिंपल चैप्टर एक्चुअली एंड इंटरेस्टिंग ऑल्सो एंड एज द नेम सजेस्ट केमिस्ट्री इन एवरी डे लाइफ वी विल फोकस ऑन द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ केमिस्ट्री अराउंड अस विच वी सी इन अवर डेली लाइफ लाइक वी विल स्टडी एप्लीकेशन ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इन मेडिसिन इन फूड्स एंड इन cleansing agents like soaps and detergents so let's start with the first part when which is application of chemistry in medicines or chemicals in medicine so let's start anti pyretics anti means we know against and pyretic means temperature so anti pyretics basically refers to heat or temperature so as it is clear from the name of this this group of medicines antipyretics are those medicines or drugs which are used to bring down the body temperature during fever and the most common three antipyretic drugs are aspirin phenacetine and paracetamol okay let's have the uh, have a look at the structure of these three the first is aspirin and the structure of aspirin is a benzene ring then a carboxylic acid group here and here this this is aspirin this is the structure of aspirin if we have a look at the structure of paracetamol the structure of paracetamol is like this a benzene ring uh, with nh then a oxygen here this is paracetamol and if we talk about this phenacetine the structure of this compound this medicine is like uh, actually mm, this is the structure of phenacetine and the structure of paracetamol is like this with a benzene ring here an h group then a carbonyl carbon and oh here. this is paracetamol this is aspirin this is phenacetin these three are antipyretic drugs most commonly used and the most common are actually aspirin and paracetamol then there is a problem that uh, there is a question sometime asked in exam that why paracetamol is preferred over aspirin both paracetamol and aspirin are good antipyretic drugs then why paracetamol is preferred over aspirin then the answer is that actually in stomach aspirin undergoes hydrolysis to form salicylic acid like this it it undergoes hydrolysis in our stomach acidic medium to form salicylic acid is already a acidic group here and another comes here now this Uh, is harmful for our stomach and may uh, cause ulcers in the stomach wall from where bleeding may take place that is why aspirin is not preferred and we prefer paracetamol next is anti malarial drugs these are those drugs which are used to bring down the body temperature during malaria fever these are known as anti malarial drugs